about this place. You see, we are doing the whole thing in English. That is, yes, sir. Yes, yes. This is our Vakpe protective mountain. Vakpe. All right, so um, this morning as um, part of uh, Global FM's uh, initiative to sell the Volta region to the world and for that matter project the tourism potentials that this region is made up of or that this region can boast of. We, um, the team, we um, set off from who this morning trying to explore the various tourist sites that we have in the region and um, we are fortunate today um, to uh, have arrived at um, the Avakpe Protective Mountain located at Mafi Avakpe Dome uh, in the uh, Central Town District. So we are here at the Avakpe Protective Mountain. If you see and look around, you can see very beautiful land formations in the background. This place is a hub for Easter festivities, especially on the picnic days. When you come here, you wouldn't find a foothold at all. Um, we are here today with uh, Mr. Martin Gozan, uh, who is going to um, give us much more details about this place, what it stands for, the history behind the place, what exactly goes on here and why everybody watching this video or listening to the sound at this very moment should make it a point to come here so we are here with mr gozan he will do justice to that then we will all get to know exactly why this place is even called the protective mountains the history behind it hello sir good morning and uh, welcome to global tv good morning how are you all we are very fine sir, and you fine Thank you very much. So, so um, like we said at the beginning, um, Global TV and for that matter, Global Fest is undertaking this beautiful initiative to market the tourism potentials in the Volta region to the rest of the world. So we are here today in your house and at your beautiful place. Um, what can you tell us about the place? Sir? Thank you. This area is called Avakpadume. And where you are now, it's a sacred ground for worship of the god Avakpe. Avakpe takes features of human beings. We have the male one called Togbi Avakpe, the female one Mama Avakpe, and the daughter is a we. Then other male ones, where exactly we are located, is called Ninyokpe, Ahanakpe, then we have Chalikpe. All these are significant names representing human nature or human beings. Historically, our great grandparents, that are central uh, gods, that they brought from Moche, where they migrated from is what they refer to as Avakpe here. The features here, they are equally located at Ngochi. And that God is a God that protected them from where they migrated from up to where they are now. So the God Avakpe covers Tongu land. So it's a property of Tongu, but located at Mafi, traditional area. For that matter, Avakpe Dome. Initially, uh, it's a God that goes in for justice and protects all women race. In case there's a problem in your family where the truth is missing, you come down to the shrine and the shrine will locate where the truth lies. And when it happens so, there should be a compensation. You use human beings to sacrifice for the work done. For example, when you have stolen somebody's item 
and the person should bring you to the shrine. And they pour a basin, invoke the gods, and the person is caught. Either the person is killed by the god or not. You have to bring a fresh, innocent girl to serve the chief priest. Until the abolition of the trochosy system, Avakpe uh, domain is not easy to come and locate a woman. When you come, it's likely you may get the wife of the fetish priest called Mama. And when it happens, so you also need to bring another human being to replace. So the place is not meant for uh, people to come and farm. It's not meant for noise making. It's only a place, seasonal prayers go on the polar basin when people want to go to war. And those days, tribal wars were common. They all climb Togbi, they climb Mama, and they can locate enemies coming. And they use that is to clear them. After that, exactly where we are seated now is used for jubilation. jubilation. Thereafter, tradition is dynamic. So the youth and elders came together after the abolition of the Trokoshi system and decided that this place should be made for recreation. It should be a place where people can come and relax. It should be a place where most people who taught the fetish uh, is a, a sacred issue uh, need to be exposed to what is good about it. And uh, as we are here, it started 2006-2007, where a youth group decided to celebrate Easter picnic here. And it was in a small uh, group. For that matter, they beat Gongo or they send information among themselves and gathered here to beat traditional drum. That's how it started. Gradually surrounding areas started participating in this. In the end, we use radio, we use TV, we use all form of media to inform the world that there's a place here. So we even give it a name that is a a place for international picnic. You will be surprised that other countries were participating in the past, especially West Africa countries and some European members who were tourists, who came around. They were all here. Now we want to make it uh, a usual program. So we are now planning as to how to get other holidays included. But as I talk now, there's no women gathering more than this place during Easter Monday. If you miss any friend of yours in the past, you come here, I tell you, you can get him. Then we come back to medicinal value, where it goes with belief. If your belief is there, strong, People who are sick, people who needed help at a workplace, people who wanted children and they could not get, they come here and they pray and they pour ambition for them. They get whatever they wanted. In the past, that's where our parents rely on for their health services and the protection. As you are here, you don't curse people. If you catch people here, the gods take it, a serious issue. But when they go through and you are rather at fault, you get the punishment as equal as the one you are cursing. So we are very careful people, so far as Tongu is concerned, everybody knows that Avakbe Mountain is the most powerful god that led our ancestors to this land. So there's a respect, total respect for whatever we do here. The land where you need to be extremely clean. That's the reason why it is not advisable 
when you come to this area, you go anywhere, especially women. We all know that when a woman is in her danger season, uh, she has to be clean for a number of days before going. And if you are here as a woman, there are places, especially when you want to visit Mama, Togbi as we are, nobody can visit Togbi. You can only climb Mama, look at Togbi, say everything you want to say, that ends it. Between Togbi and Mama, we now go to features. There's a crater uh, there, which is a cave, about 35 meters, hanging, uh, under the hanging Mama, part of Mama's uh, area, where Mama covered. And between Mama and Togbi, it's always evergreen. And that's where our great-grandfathers perform rituals. And that place is always green, whether green is easy or not. If you want to see nature, when you climb Mama, you see the river Volta meandering from Kosombo area towards the estuary, that's towards the dam. You can see a distance of more than 20 kilometers when you climb the mountain. And you can see a vast land where grazing animals uh, go around. And you see farmers around. You can see far distance during the night when you see electricity poles and lights at the bridge. And then far areas where you have light, you can that's, you actually respect coming down here. And it's a place which is good for every activity, especially religious groups. Christmas, they come down. Easter, they come down. And they have their own planned programs. Yours is to write to the caretakers of the area and they will arrange for you. You come down. We don't take so much. You can negotiate as to what you do here. Then they'll be given a token which can be used to maintain the area. I can now say that in the earlier stage, most people who patronize these people were locals. But now it's international. So when you are in Ghana or any part of the world, and you have never heard of a Vakpeh protective mountain, today you are being informed that there is a situation in the central tongue, especially a Vakpeh area where it is located as a Vakpeh domain. A short history of a Vakpeh domain is a, is a traditional seat for Mafi traditional area. So it's a, a place that the traditional area takes good care and everybody respects Avakpa Dume as a single town. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So um, you said earlier that um, this place started as a sacred ground, a place where prayers were performed in the day, even before the people went to war, and it protected them against whatever catastrophe that would befall them. That was before the place was transformed into a tourist site or um, a recreational site as we have it now. Now, um, if the place used to be as powerful as you say it was, um, is there no repercussion whatsoever when people come here and make all the noise and revel and rejoice and jubilate all around? Is there no repercussion when people come here for such activities? Totally no. As I said, that tradition is dynamic. That the youth, the elders, the chief, they came together. So noise making is no more a sin. Nothing is to make you uh, worry about after effect for coming here. As I told you, uh, that where actually we are now, in the past is meant for entertainment. 
after war. But where the gods are, they don't do those things there. They come down to this place. That's why we have selected the whole ground, but specifically where we make the entertainment, where we make enjoyment, is where they, to the way, doing it. So if you want to visit any part of the land, then that's where a, somebody will take you along. You tell you this, what is happening here. And before uh, we even end, there are uh, features like, we call it pot. Uh, pot is meant for containing water in our local home. But here in the rock, you will see that there's some depression where water collects. The medical value, spiritual value of that water is only known to the traditional people. So when you want it, they know how to tell you. There are some trees that grow on the uh, rock. So you'll be doubting how can a tree grow on rock. Such trees, it means that they are very hard. And it's only the traditional people who can tell you if you also want to be hard like that tree, they will know what to tell like a mountain. It's a blessing for you. You come here, the moment you come, you are protected from all evils. You are extremely protected from all evil. And uh, uh, I can tell you that a native, for that matter, Tongu people, they are not very good at stealing. They are not very good at killing people. And they are not very good at jujuing because of these gods. So the moment you step on this ground, you count yourself being blessed. Just as people go to see the black stone in Mecca. You visit here, the whole year you are blessed. Thank you, sir. So one very final one. So when people come here to come in and behold the, 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 the wonderful place, the, the awesomeness of this place, um, are they taken to see Mama and uh, the child? I've forgotten the name. You said the child. We. 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 Very good. We. Yes. Good. So. It means first daughter. First daughter. Okay, we. So you earlier said that uh, as for Togbe, nobody ventures on top of Togbe. So when people come here, do they have the privilege of being taken atop Mama so they could also behold Togbe and we? Exactly. That is what makes you more uh, proud that you were at Kweji. If you visited this place and you were not taken around, it's a two-hour journey, by the way. But you can decide to make it shorter when you visit uh, we, and you can decide to go further, then go to Mama. And then that's where, before you come back, there are other smaller features which, as we go on, you'll be uh, introduced to. Yes. So, if you are a group and you have not asked permission or informed us that you are coming, that's where the people who will take you around to tell you things and want to show you uh, features, that's where the problem will be. You can come, you don't know where you are going. But for the entertainment ground, it's the entertainment ground. You come, there's no problem. But if you want to see everything, then you need to make it official. Then somebody will lead you around it. University people come here. Other women group, they come. Student, you can see on the wall, the last first May, all students were here, uh, visual art students in lower Volta. They visited this way, everybody made his mark on the wall. You can just see. Uh -huh. So it's meant for everybody. Yes. The name of this place is Avakpe Protective, Protective Mountain. Mountain. Okay. And then literally, Avakpe means war stone. War stone. All right. Thank you so very much. So this is uh, Mr. Martin uh, Gozan 
Mr. Martin Goza, giving us a um, detailed history, beautiful piece of history um, of our tradition, of our heritage about the Avakpe Protective Mountain. So if you are out there and you listened to him and you are watching this footage, um, if you did not even know there was any such place existent on the surface of the earth, specifically in the central Tong district of the Volta region in uh, Mafi, Avakpe Dome, then now you know. So make it a point, this Easter, it is going to be all revealing, all jubilation, all activities um, to rejoice, to, to, to rejuvenate all the energy that you've lost through years and years of hard work. So this Easter on picnic day, the place to be is Mafi, Avakpe Dome, specifically at the Avakpe Protective Mountains. Oh, wow. 